All right, let's talk Reuben history. Oh, let's talk. The classic Reuben was created right here in the Midwest to feed a group of poker players. Oh. The creator's first name was Reuben, and the rest, <laughs> history. Awesome story. Thanks. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Now that we have that out of the way, let's make some Reuben bites. Let's do it. And here to show us how it's done, representing the Minnesota Beef Council, it's executive chef at Delwood Country Club, Peter Christensen. Hi, Peter. Hi. How are you doing today? I'll tell you, this guy. We're real excited. Yes, yeah. we're very, very excited mm -hmm. about this. So let's talk a little corned beef, shall we? Tis the season. Did you see him? He just wants to push me out so he can be close yeah, to I just his want to beef. touch the corned corn beef. beef. Well, we've got some corned beef here that I picked up at Kowalski, so just a couple of samples. Okay. Uh, and I think the biggest thing is people overthink corned beef. They want to make it really nice and tender, right. so they try a lot of different recipes. Just follow the directions uh, right on the package. Wait a second. You're going to need to, it's almost too simple. We need to repeat it one more time. So you buy it, you look <laughs> at the directions on said package, and then you do what it tells you to do. Absolutely. And a couple of little Brilliant. tips that I have here yeah. is I've got one ready to go in. Make sure that the fat is on the top. I like to put a little bit of carrot, celery, onions in there. And then and we're going to. Did you gonna, pour water in there? I did, and okay. then I poured water in there. And make sure it stays. Uh, doesn't dry out when it's cooking. That will definitely make it dry. Okay. okay. So even a base of water can just handle that trick pretty easily. All right. So we'll wrap that up. You didn't even season it already? Nope. It's already seasoned. Uh, oh yeah, it does. Ready to go. Beef. Yep. <laughs> and then you'll see I have one here that we'll take out. And so that you just. Uh, let me ask you this: How long sure. would that be going in the oven with all that water and all those veggies and playing nicely together? That one there, probably about four and a half hours. Okay. okay. So right. yeah, and your directions will tell you depending on the size of the corned beef. Could gotcha. you do it in a crock pot long. too? So, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Let's check it. Would it be better in a crock pot? No. Mm, I'm a crock pot kind of guy. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, all right. But, you uh, try it one way, I'll try it the other. Okay. We'll report. And the key is to make sure when it comes out that it's fork tender. As far okay. as you can take a fork, just twist it in there easily. Otherwise, cook it a little longer, and make sure, you, what that feels like. make sure you leave it in the uh, <laughs> make sure you leave it in the liquid for yeah. at least a half hour after it's done, so that it'll stay uh, moist. Okay. Boy, liquid is really the X factor so far in this process, right? Liquid, liquid, liquid. Absolutely. All right, I'm all, right. all ears so far. All right, so we've got a corned beef dinner here, which is your traditional, but it's nice to have something to do with the leftovers. Right. Yes. Yeah, because so. when you're making that big, huge thing, there's always leftovers. Absolutely. Unless you live with this. So what would you suggest? <laughs> well, one of my favorites is I like to do a uh, little, I call them mini Reuben bites. Yeah. And uh, they're easy to do, but uh, I'm going to put you to work here. Okay. We just mix yeah. a little bit. I have some sauerkraut that's drained there okay. and some Thousand Island. Putting that all in and here. And just put a little bit of that in the bowl, and we'll mix that up. Mm, I love sauerkraut. And then we have a, uh, a greased uh, cookie sheet. And I've got some. Uh, These little rye toasts? Or yes, what? little rye toasts here. Boy, well, aren't those just adorable? Aren't they My cute? Goodness. And there's nothing mm -hmm. better than food that's cute, like yeah. miniature food. Cute anything, small yeah. of any object exactly. is great for me. Puppies, babies, corned beef, little bites. They're all great. Okay, so you okay. just load okay. each of those up. We've sliced up some corned beef here. Okay. And we're yeah. just going to. Want me to do it? Yeah, please. <laughs> and then. Uh, just make sure that you have uh, you you sprayed the cookie sheet real well before you put the uh, the cocktail rye on there. Otherwise, it'll stick. And this is nice. You can do this ahead of time if you're going to have guests over okay. uh, a couple hours ahead of time. And that way, when you're ready, you can just pop fingers. these in the oven, and they'll be good to go. There you go. So you just do the. And this is Swiss cheese. Okay. Yep. And then we put okay. a little bit of the thousand. Oh wait, am I supposed to put this on the, first? Uh, oh, we we'll do a double layer. Then we'll we just go. put a little bit of that right on the top there. Okay. Ooh, a little bit. Yep. Or a just lot a little bit. bit. Mm. Can, uh, okay, so I always want to go a lot. Peter. Sure. That's my style. Okay. All right. Mm. Oh, yeah. See, I want to. There you we can are. kick a little Shrouded crazier with it. Right yeah. there. Boom. Woo. There you go. Now we're cooking. That's fun. Look, I'm, I'm always thinking about can my kids help with this? This seems like this is reasonable enough where the kiddos could help. Oh, yeah. I, they would love to be scooping, have a cheese place, or I could put them all to work. Yeah. It's a nice little <laughs> snack for them. Yeah, great. All okay. right. All right. Just bake these in the oven at uh, about 350 degrees okay. for five to seven minutes till they're golden brown. Oh, that's simple. Oh, look at that. Watch your hand. I know there. that's very oh. hot for you. Oh, our there we go. Working oh. oven. <laughs> All right. So you did that without potholders. Oh my that's gosh! Amazing. Look how good there that looks. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm doing it. What is the uh, appropriate Ooh. serving size for these? Would it be? Hundred and five. You decide, or what is it? Three to five. Mmm. Yep. Okay, Probably good, uh, good two, two to three per person. Be. But on a Friday. Is that for miniature? Is that for miniature people? Mm -hmm. Four to oh. six on the weekends. I like that. <laughs> this oh is man, delicious. that's so easy. Mm -hmm. That's great. Right. You want to high five it? There you oh. go. All right, we're not done with you yet, though. <laughs> Sorry, Des. Knock me out. I love grilled cheese. How many people here love grilled cheese? I mean, oh. is that never a disappointment, right? It's near perfect. 
You have uh, sort of taken a twist on grilled cheese. What are you doing? I have. I've taken some rye bread with uh, some of the, once again, leftover corned beef. Mm -hmm. uh, sliced it up, some of the cabbage, and some Gruyere cheese. Ooh, and Gruyere. Uh, then I've just mm. buttered one side of that rye bread, put it on a uh, flat top, and then uh, let it get golden brown with the Gruyere cheese on the other side. Heated up the, uh, the corned beef and the uh, cabbage. And then I have some, uh, a, you'll see there, I just picked up at the store a few toppings, a Cajun topping, Ooh, uh, stone these. ground mustard, so you can make it a little different flavor. What do you, what do you say? This is all very tasty, and I think that uh, beer would be great with this. Did you bring Absolutely. any beer? I did not. You did Dang not, it. Peter. <laughs> well, we're going to ask you to leave here in a moment. <laughs> no, this is all very delicious. Thank great you so ideas. much. What did you think? Awesome. Great. But don't you eat all that. I'm yeah, eat that's really good, too. If you'd like these recipes, head to TwinCitiesLive.com and click on food. And for more beef recipe ideas and advice on the best <laughs> cuts, Head to the Minnesota Beef Council's <laughs> website. We're going to have a link up on our website. Big thanks to the Minnesota Beef Council for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. Oh, you know